Black bodies swinging. Black bodies being filled with buckshots. Black people being tyrannized by forces of white resistance and supremacy that should have long since died. It wasn't just the act of the murder itself that was terrorism when it comes to lynching. The terrorism was also in the fact that they would leave those bodies hanging from trees to warn other black people that this is what happens if you step out of line. The fact is about 600 blacks were lynched in Mississippi and about 4,000 across the South between 1880 and 1940. It was a, it was a common way of, of handling us. I read somewhere that more than 200,000 black people moved to Chicago between the 1920s and the 1950s. As I was growing up, it really seemed like almost everybody from Mississippi was coming through our house, the Ellis Island of Chicago. Actually, it was more like a terminal on the Underground Railroad. Emmett's grandmother, Alma Spearman, was instrumental in moving many of our family members from the South to the Chicago area. And then Alma got us to uh, come North. My mother got on a train with five kids, boxes of food, and the oldest one being seven. We were afraid of the train because we didn't see the trains that much. And, and this big colossal train sitting up there, we're getting ready to get on it, and, and the smoke was coming out of it, and, and then they make that noise, ch -ch -ch -ch, and so we were afraid of it. And, and, but we, we got on the train, and we came and settled uh, in the place called Summit, Argo, Illinois. Argo Starch Plant was the backbone of the community. You knew that you could come in and you could get a job, even if you didn't have a lot of skills, and you could make an honest living. I was eight years old when I moved to Chicago. My father's name was Moses Wright, but they called him Moses. My father and mother valued education and they thought that I was going to be sharp and smart. <laughs> so they asked my aunt if I could live with her and go to school, Emmett's grandmother. And she said, send Thelma. When I went to Aunt Alma, Mamie was in her last year of high school. Mama had helped to found the Argo Temple Church of God in Christ, and where she recruited new church members with practically each new Mississippi migrant. She took her strength from her faith, but also from her folks. She seemed to pull in a deep awareness of one fundamental truth. Above all else, you must always keep your family close. 